Nestle is the world's leading nutrition, wealth and wellness company founded in 1866 by a Swiss pharmacist, Henri Nestle. Yeah, so talking about patient, this is like the megalith in the area, but it's a very slow moving company. They think they're doing well if they grow their total sales and production by about 3 or 4% per annum. But they've got real strength in some core categories like coffee, uh, dairy and related drinks as well as bottled water. We'll go through some of the brands in a minute. Market cap, 238.5 billion US dollars, PE of 24.8 and a dividend yield of 3.1. Let's have a look at that share price graph to mm. kick off our conversation. So yeah. that is the US uh, ADR, but you can also, of course, buy them in Switzerland, which is where their principal listing is. But there you go. Do, they do well in 2011, 2012, 2013, because that was that era of sort of emerging market euphoria. And since then, it's gone sort of sideways. to sleep. Pretty mm. much sideways. What is the value unlock here for, for Nestle? So Nestle is just a really solid company. So if you are looking for something a little bit more defensive, but you still want that consumer um, kind of exposure, then Nestle will be the company for you. These guys have been expanding into emerging markets, but at a very, at a very careful and considered pace. So uh, it's still, it's still a relatively small part of their overall business. But I mean, you do get the defensiveness of developed market consumers that really just shields you um, against any sort of um, negative market moves. Mm. So this is a defensive play. Yeah, look, let me read to you the coffee is Nescafe and Nespresso mm -hmm. pods. And then they also make Rick coffee, which as we know, is not really coffee. In drinks, we have things like Milo and Nest tea. And then in water, which I mentioned was important, you've got Pure Life, Perrier and Poland Spring, which is the North American mm -hmm. market leader. Baby foods like mm -hmm. Cerelac and Gerber. Pet care, they're big in dogs as well. Purina, Alpo, Friskies, you know. So the theme here is a well diversified consumer play. Look, they do have chocolates and sometimes people, well, that's a bad one, like Aero, Kit Kat and Smarties, you know, like people aren't allowed to eat those anymore. No, but coffee, not of course, coffee is huge. Yeah, and emerging market consumers, especially in poorer countries, are only getting into chocolate now. Mm. So there's still that to consider. They've had a few disasters. They had a um, noodle brand in India, which somehow or other they fell foul of the regulatory mm -hmm. authorities. And then there was a big public kerfuffle and they said that the ingredients were fine. And then the Indians said they weren't, yeah, which they seems a to, bad execution. They had to recall the whole lot. Um, it's <laughs> Maggie's two minute noodles, ah. <laughs> won't you believe? But I mean, two minute noodles are two minute noodles. These you guys are already marketing mm. again. It's already on the shelves and the sales have recovered. All right, so we've got to call this one. Are we hot or not on Nestle? Is there anything else you want to no, add before we make fine. a decision? I own some of these myself. I will concede How long they have haven't. you earned them for? For about three years, during which they've been <laughs> in the sideways. They've got nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good Shame. for that. Thanks for that disclosure. <laughs> So, are we going hot? I'll go hot. I mean, I think you've got to be patient, like I said earlier. As you have been, three mm. years. You don't want to oh, uh, you know, ruin the years. track record there. Three years is like a blink. Yeah, well, <laughs> hot I mean, or not? I would also say hot, because you've had it for three years, but you, you, you must remember, you're still getting a nice dividend yield mm. out of it. So, you're still getting about 3% a year. Although in the Swiss do gobble a bit more of the dividend in withholding taxes, I'm oh, sorry yes. to say, which is a bit rude of them, but yes. it is what it is. So, you are still going hot as well, Chantal? Yeah, especially given current uncertainty um, in terms of the global growth story. Yes. That's it. We've got a double hot on Nestle.